If you're still using 11 Labs for text-to-speech, you might want to pause and watch this first, because what I'm about to show you is completely free with unlimited usage is honestly better. This is Google's brand new AI text-to-speech tool, and it's giving 11 Labs a serious run for its money. Don't skip this video, because by the end of it, you'll have your hands on the most realistic and expressive AI text-to-speech voice generation tool available today. If you're a content creator, whether you're working on folktale stories, motivational videos, podcasts, or dialogue-rich narratives, this is a game changer. I'm gonna walk you through how to use this feature in Google AI Studio to turn any text into voice with real human emotion. It can laugh, <laughs> it can cough, <laughs> and it can even act out full conversations between characters, something Eleven Labs still can't do. This is newly speaking. And yes, for those of you who know my voice, you're right, this is not my regular voice. <laughs> the voice you're hearing is powered by Google AI Studio itself, the exact tool I'm about to teach you how to use. Sounds amazing, right? Let's dive right in. So the first thing we'll do is head over to our Google Chrome, or any browser you prefer, and type in Google AI Studio. I've also dropped the link to access the website in the video description. Now, this is the simple interface. Here, under settings, you have the option to switch between light mode and dark mode. Personally, I prefer dark mode, so I'll leave it on. If you click this hamburger menu, you'll see all the amazing things this tool can do. You can chat, stream, generate media, even access full documentation. You can explore these features later, but for now, our main focus in this video is this right here, native speech generation. Also, make sure that before you start creating, your model is set to Gemini 2.5 Pro. When you click on this drop-down, you'll see many other options. Gemini, Gemini 2, Flash, Gemini Lite, but for this text-to-speech voice generation, make sure it's set to Gemini 2.5 Pro. Now, click on Native Speech Generation, and it will bring you to this interface. Click on this icon here, and it will give you two options, single speaker and multi-speaker. For now, we're going with single speaker. We'll explore multi-speaker later in this video because this tool is honestly a game changer. Once you toggle on single speaker, you'll see the model settings, including temperature. I usually leave it at the default settings. Now, here you have different voices to choose from. Let's go ahead and preview some of them. What do you want to explore? Got a project in mind? Ready to make something amazing? Okay, keep watching, because there's so much I'm going to show you in this video. You'll be amazed at how versatile Google AI Studio's text-to-speech really is. It's not just about voice. There are so many things you probably didn't know this app can do. For example, one character can speak multiple languages and switch accents. It's mind-blowing. So keep watching. Now we need to choose one of the voices. Let's go with the Umbrella voice, for example. Now I want to show you just how much better Google AI Studio is compared to Eleven Labs, beyond just the unlimited text-to-speech access it provides. With that in mind, I already have the script we'll be using for comparison. So I'll first copy the script from Google Docs and paste it into Eleven Labs so we can compare. Here in Eleven Labs, I'll select a random voice. Let's go with the popular Adam voice. I'll click Generate Speech. So I walk into the room, right? And everyone's staring at me because I still had toothpaste on my chin. Laughs, I didn't even notice until someone pointed it out. Okay, you heard Eleven Labs, right? That laugh part completely missed the emotion the script was going for. In my opinion, Eleven Labs used to be the best until I discovered Google AI Studio. And I know many other content creators watching this would agree. Now, I'm not changing anything. You can see this is the same script that I'll now use in Google AI Studio's native voice generator. So here's the script. Let's click on this run button and see how it sounds. It might take a little time to generate, but honestly, it's always worth the wait. A few moments later. 
So I walk into the room, right? And everyone's staring at me because I still had toothpaste on my chin. <laughs> I didn't even notice until someone pointed it out. You hear that? That was incredible. Google AI Studio captured the laugh and emotions like a real human. Even where I added the laugh, it interpreted it so naturally and realistically. This tool is amazing. And as of the time I'm making this video, its generation is unlimited. That might change in the future, who knows? So let's enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> and the cool thing about Google AI Studio's text-to-speech tool, the same voice can adapt to different languages and even change accents. Awesome, right? Let's try a quick example so you can see for yourself. I'm going to show you how this same voice can switch languages, be it French, German, and it does it with the proper accent for each one. That's one of the best parts of this app. It automatically adjusts to any accent. For instance, let's try a Nigerian pigeon accent. I'll copy a Nigerian pigeon script and test it in 11 labs first. So I paste the same script into 11 labs. Let's just choose a random voice and click generate speech. A few moments later. Ah, my sister. Make I give you one correct juicy gist way. Go sweet you wella. So this babe, her name na queeneth, fine gay no be here. Skin fresh like say she day bath with milk and honey. Every time she walk up for road, boys go they nearly break neck to look am. She no even they look anybody face. If you toast am, she go just raise shoulder they form say. For my bang. Nigerian viewers, you can agree with me that 11 Labs totally murdered our dear accents. Oh. <laughs> now, let's try the same script on Google AI Studio and see how it performs. I'll copy and paste the same Nigerian pigeon script right here in Google AI Studio. We'll continue using the same voice, Umbrella. Click Run. A few moments later. Ah, my sister, make I give you one correct juicy gist we go sweet you wella. So, this babe, her name na Quineth. Fine girl no be here. Skin fresh like say she dey bath with milk and honey. Every time she walk out for road, boys go they nearly break neck to look am. She no even they look anybody face. If you toast am, she go just raise shoulder, they form say I beg you no reach. She they always talk you she no fit marry man we no get mansion, bands and accent from UK or Yankee. When I said Google AI Studio is better than 11 Labs, I wasn't exaggerating. This tool is not just an alternative, it's an upgrade. Before we jump into using the multi-speaker feature for dialogue, let's try out a fun little example. This one's in French. Here in ChatGPT, I typed in an English script, something like, welcome to Newly Studio, my mission is blah blah. Then I told ChatGPT, can you help me translate this into French? And Here's the French version it gave me. I copied it, went back to Google Audio Studio, pasted it, and used the same voice we've been using all along. I'm gonna click on Umbria, then paste the French text in, and click Run. A few moments later. Bienvenue sur Nelly Studio. Ma mission est simple, apprendre, évoluer, et réussir ensemble. C'est pourquoi je vous propose toujours les meilleurs outils. Now, I'm not a French speaker, but based on how it sounds, it really feels like someone with a natural French accent. So I'm asking my viewers, if you're French, please let me know how well this voice handled the accent and pronunciation. Now, let's move on to the multi-speaker feature. How to use this tool to create dialogue very easily and fast. So right here, when you click on multi-speaker, it brings up these options. Here, you can select the voices you want to use. For this podcast, I want a male and a female voice. The male will be my host, and the female is me, the guest. So here, I'll start by choosing a male voice to begin the dialogue based on my script. I'll delete the default speaker one and input the name from my script for easier identification. Now, for speaker two, which is me, I'll just put my name or the name of the character I want to use. Okay, I'll just use my name for speaker two and then choose the voice. I'll use the same voice from this video tutorial, which is Lamita, so I'm gonna choose that. Once you're done setting up the voices, it takes you to this interface. 
Here, you'll see Add Dialog, click on it, and it will bring up this text box. Now what I'll do is go back to ChatGPT or wherever you've saved your script. For the first line, let's say it's Mike. I'll copy Mike's line and paste it here. Then click Add Dialog again. Go back to your script, copy Nuli's line, and paste it where Nuli appears. Just repeat this process for all the dialogue lines in your script. Once you're done pasting everything, just click Run. A few moments later. Hello, Nuli. Nice having you back on the show. It's always great to have you. So tell us, why did you start this channel? Hi, Mike. Thank you for having me again. Honestly, this channel was kind of an afterthought but a meaningful one. I started it to impact and inspire upcoming content creators like myself. Here we learn, grow, and build together, one video at a time. That's inspiring, Nuli. So before we wrap things up, what do you have to say to your viewers? Hey, my awesome viewers. If you found value in this content, consider subscribing, liking this video, and dropping a kind comment below. Let's grow together. It's a journey, and I'm glad we're doing it side by side. Personally, I think this is awesome. With this feature, you can easily create podcasts, dialogue scenes, audio dramas, and more. Let me know what you think about this tool in the comments. And hey, if you've watched this far and haven't liked the video yet, please go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll be glad to help. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.